please give all your love for the wonderful talent of Mr. Steve Hughes! The rest of you relax, I'm thinking the same thing looking at you people. So. <laughs> you freaks. <laughs> and don't worry, there's no need to buy a big issue off me. So. <laughs> Which, by the way, I hope you're decent enough people to do buy the big issue, at least, you know, give some money to homeless people. I hope you're not those people that go, no, no, I only give my money to registered charities. That way, I know where my money's going. No, you don't. <laughs> You're not morally superior. You're just gullible and conformist. <laughs> I know exactly where my money's going to this bloke with three socks and no shoes. <laughs> and now it's going to the off-license. Well, it's perfectly acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Well, that's their big moral high ground a lot of the time, you know. You don't give these people money. No. They'll just spend it on drink and drugs. Well, what do you think I was going to spend it on? <laughs> Hypocrites. <laughs> what kind of weird world do we live in where they go, don't associate with people less fortunate than yourself who have to live in the street, who have no money. Don't help them out by having a conversation or giving them a few coins. Don't do that. Why don't you just uh, send the money to us and... Uh and we'll make sure they get it. <laughs> anyway, it's wonderful to be. I'm from Australia, actually, although I have an English father, Australian mother. Some Scottish bloke said that makes me Welsh, so. <laughs> Being in England for many years now, I understand all of you, and myself included, we all have to live under the weird and oppressive regime of health and safety regulations. <laughs> which, is, which is very strange, isn't it? Because, you know. Remember in the old days before health and safety? Remember when it was called common sense? Remember those days? <laughs> Remember many years ago when you used to go, look, there's a great big deep hole. Will I step in it? No, I'll just walk around it like that. <laughs> oh, just like that. Oh, well, how'd you manage to learn to do that? Well, my parents taught me not to be a moron. And, uh, I just kind of carried it on from there. See, the Dutch, I'll treat you like an adult. You're in Amsterdam. You're in a city, they sell pot, they sell mushrooms, there's trams, there's buses, there's cabs, there's push bikes with women, with kids strapped to the front of them. There's a road next to a canal. Is there a fence? Yeah. No. <laughs> no fence. England, there'd be a big sign, big fence. Don't go in the water. <laughs> don't all fall in the water and drown, don't go in. <laughs> Amsterdam, is your bike wet? Yeah. Well, you're on the wrong bit, mate. So... <laughs> And then we have political correctness, which is, which is the joy that is the other side of health and safety, which is health and safety, which is a small oppression of our physical movement, so we can't do anything without permission from the state. And political correctness is the oppression of our intellectual movement, so no one says anything anymore in case somebody else gets offended. <laughs> what happens if you say that and someone gets offended? <laughs> well, they can be offended. <laughs> What's wrong with being offended? When did sticks and stones made break my bones stop being relevant? <laughs> Isn't that what you teach children, for God's sake? That's what you teach toddlers. He called me an idiot. Don't worry about him. He's a dick. <laughs> now you have adults going, I was offended. I was offended and I have rights. <laughs> well, so what? Be offended. Nothing happens. <laughs> You're an adult. Grow up. Deal with it. I was offended. I don't care. <laughs> nothing happens when you're offended. There's nothing. I, I went to the comedy show and, and the comedian said something about the Lord and, and I was offended. And when I woke up in the morning, I had leprosy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens. I want to live in a democracy, but I never want to be offended again. <laughs> well, you're an idiot. Law about offending people. 
How do you make it an offence to offend people? Being offended is subjective. It has everything to do with you as an individual, or a collective, or a group, or a society, or a community, your moral conditioning, your religious beliefs. What offends me may not offend you. And you want to make laws about this? I'm offended when I see boy bands, for God's sake. <laughs> it's a valid offence. I'm offended. They're corporate shills posing as musicians to further a modelling career, and frankly, I'm disgusted. But right? <laughs> well, what am I going to do? Call the cops? Hello, it's me again. <laughs> They're on the telly this time. <laughs> Five of them, that's it. <laughs> yeah, white suits dancing like girls, that's them. <laughs> Five minutes, I'll be out the front traumatised. Bye. <laughs> And now we can't smoke anywhere either. No smoking. No. For our health. No, it's not. It's for control. <laughs> no smoking. Can we still buy cigarettes? Of course. <laughs> Where can we smoke them? Nowhere. <laughs> you can smoke them in the woods under a blanket with a torch. <laughs> Unless it's raining, then health and safety regulations do stipulate that. <laughs> You think it's about health. It's, it's not. It's about control. There's an easy way to understand this because the Irish were the first to stop smoking in pubs. Now, who saw that coming? <laughs> not the Irish. <laughs> I'd love to have been there the day they told them. <laughs> what? It's us. We're first. <laughs> Come on. No. In pubs. But we live in pubs. <laughs> I tried to give them up. I tried to give up cigarettes. I bought a book on addiction. It said apparently in this book, if you're addicted to something, when you give it up, you replace it with something else. Like a hobby. Huh? So I did a pottery course. Huh? Yeah. First day, everyone made ashtrays. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a crap plan, you know. And, uh, very embarrassing after sex as well. Yes, sir. <laughs> you were great, baby. Yeah, I've made you a pot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a brilliant night. Have enjoy yourself. Well played, sir. Thank you. Thank you. See you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we love you.